morning, y'all. It is Friday, September 11th, 2015. 14 years ago, the Muslim extremist attacked the uh, World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and we're not sure where the other target was, but those heroes on that flight um, helped crash that plane uh, before it could do any significant damage to somewhere else in the United States. So on this day of remembrance, I want to remember all those people that were lost, all the dogs that helped in the rescue, all the uh, rescue people, the firefighters, the police, um, everybody who lost their lives or helped or who's, who are still fighting battles of sickness because of all the crap in the air that they were breathing as they were just trying to help people. And of course all the people on the airplanes that died as the uh, Muslim extremists took over. So we get into why it happened. People hate other people all because your sky god isn't a true sky god and my sky god is. So I think what it all boils down to is we need to come together and put aside the differences and let you believe in whatever sky god you want to believe in. Let me believe in whatever sky god I want to believe in. Let's just come together. I know it's not going to happen because this has been going on for millennia. Is The problem with the world is religion. I know this is going to offend a lot of people, but uh, you need to think about it. What? Why is there so much hate in the world? Because of religion. Because differences of religion that you don't agree with me, therefore you're wrong and you're going to wherever bad place your religion believes you're going to go to if you don't believe the way they believe. So anyway, it's really sad that it's come to that and I, I feel bad for everybody that is still stuck in that mentality of you're going to bad place if you don't believe in my religion. That's the problem with the world. It's been a problem for a long time. We need to uh, come together and fix it. I do know that we need to keep a strong leader or get a strong leader in power like Mr. Trump that even though attacks might happen, we know they're going to be dealt with. We don't need another weak leader making bad deals, the Iran deal, and let's put the uh, prisoners in charge of the jailhouse. Let's put the pedophiles babysitting the kids. You know, we need to be a little bit smarter than that and make good deals and make great deals and fix the bad shit that we've got going. So anyway, I am on my way to work. I just pulled into Walmart. I've got to go make a quick purchase. And I just want everybody to remember the attacks on 9-11, remember all those who lost their lives, and never forget, never forget those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom and continue to every day, and just never forget. And let's get a strong leader in place, let's get Mr. Donald Trump elected President of the United States in 2016 to take office January 2017. Go Trump.